Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I wanted to show you this project again because this is one of the favoritest, favoritest, yep, that's a word, uh, risers that I've done. So I took two of these rounds uh, from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start putting these um, uh, beads all the way around it. So I'm just gonna hot glue them on and then we'll put the top on it. And then what I decided to do, because these beads were such a dark brown and I tried sanding it a little bit and it just really didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to. So I decided, like I said, once I get them all the way around and then the top on it is I'm going to spray paint my base coat. Now I want this to be super distressed looking and fun little farmhousey kind of vibe. So that's why I was like, all right, let's start with a base coat of spray paint because I love the color that I ended up using. Um, and then we'll put a lighter coat on top of that. So you can also see those bigger beads right there. We're gonna use those uh, for the feet of the risers. Now, like I said, I use this all the time. I this is my favoriteest one I've done. And the cool thing about it is it's a nice size. So it's not too big, but not too small, which I love. Okay, so here's that nutmeg I was talking about. This color, oh gosh, you guys gotta grab a can of this. It's so good. I absolutely love it. For fall, it will be perfect. Um, so good coat. I actually did two coats of this over the top and the sides and the bottom and all the things. And then once that's completely dry, what we're going, oh, here's where I'm adding the top on it. <laughs> um, we are going to, like I said, distress over the top. Da -da -da. We're going to add a little bit more distressing because you can never have enough. <laughs> That's how I always think of it. Um, but you, this is a part where you could do the distressing if you wanted, or you could just paint it and leave it however you want. But I love that you kind of saw a little bit of the wood coming through. So definitely make it how you want it. Heck, this would even be cute, all black. And then you could like decorate on top of it. But when I was um, a while back at the Dollar Tree, they had that cute little chicken and on the base. And I thought, oh my gosh, this will be adorable on it. So I love that too. So I don't know why I'm sanding so slow right here. <laughs> why I was being so cautious. Who knows? Who knows what was coming up? But I also like at the Dollar Tree, they have these pins, three come in a pack, and it's like to fill wood when there's scratches, but I love the colors of them, so I'm using those to distress with as well. So who knew that, I mean, furniture pins could turn into a distressing thing. I guess we use about everything for distressing. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that in the in little indentions there, and then a little bit more sanding, um, but I did let it dry up, because these are, you know, pens and they're super wet, more like a marker, I would say. Um, but anyways, so let that dry up and then a little bit more sanding and then some sanding on the side. But look how stinking cute this is. Oh, I love this one so much. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more crafts. Thanks, friends.